Daniel Owen began his career as a published writer with a series of three poems published between 1856 and 1859 under the pen name of Glass Lewin. The first poem that was published in the Methodist magazine in May 1856 was entitled Mole Churchyard, and it was a lament about the state of the grave of Richard Wilson, R.A. The second poem, entitled The Night, was published in the magazine A Gawinwitha Nai Athol Missal the following month, June 1856. Then in the January 1859 edition of Adrasova, he published his third poem, The Sea. I've taken the liberty of translating it into English, and before we start to look at Daniel's new career as a translator, I will recite it for you. The Sea by Glasslewin of Mould O terrible sea, home of the storm, father of the clouds, cradle of the furious wind, vision of the veins of nature, Fountain of world health, mirror of the creator, shadow of the great being. Oh, what terror falls upon me as I look upon your expansive face. You lie on your back like a huge giant, continually staring at the worlds above, as if to will them to fall like the fruit of worship into your dreadful horrors. And then, as if you have lost your mind, you stir in your depths and rush at the rocks, striking hard and indiscriminately, with the angry fury of an unclean spirit in a bad mood, frothing with foam around your gaping lips, opening your mouth as if to swallow all the grief of the world and all its doings in one big tragedy. I hang on your mercy, and if the Creator had not put a bridle about your head and restrained you with his own hand, thou wouldst long since have swallowed us all up, without leaving as much as a single grey stone to mark our grave, in the cemetery of oblivion. Your gaze creates horror in my anguished soul. I lose myself in wonder at your magnitude. In vain do my eyes seek to gauge your extent. I seek your borders, but I cannot see where they end. I find distance in greater distances, until I think sometimes it's you that is the silver thread that holds together the eternal and the temporal worlds. I imagine in your heavy sighs I hear the misery of a poignant woe eroding the roots of the underlying rocks until I faint and out of fear choose to retreat and leave you to indulge your pride in your strength and might. O oh, terrible sea! Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please click the subscribe box in the bottom right hand corner of the screen.